Rescue crews from the U.S. Coast Guard, Guam Fire and Guam Police have spent more than 48 hours now searching for the 50-year-old man who went missing in these waters. JFD Fire Captain Kevin Riley surveys the coastal waters with a drone from where the missing swimmer was last believed to be seen. There haven't been any new developments um, as far as rescue efforts uh, concerning this particular case. Um, so as we enter day three of our operation, um, we switch more towards a recovery mode, um, which are units, we still have units out there, assets including the Guam Fire Department rescue. Uh, we have GPD, SOD, um, and the U.S. Coast Guard still assisting, um, hopefully trying to recover. It was Sunday afternoon. First responders received a call of two distressed swimmers off Tangisan Beach. One swimmer, a 45-year-old man, made it safely to shore by the time GFD rescue units arrived. But still no sign of the 50-year-old man. Riley says search parties are shifting efforts to a recovery, as it's becoming more unlikely he may have survived the rough waters. Meanwhile, in this backdrop of a multi-agency search and rescue effort underway here at Tangisan Beach, it's not stopping beachgoers from enjoying their day. Jigo resident Herbert Cruz here with his family despite the darkening sky and crashing waves. He says he's aware of the incident, but it's a favorite spot he frequents to fish. When the water is bad over here, it's not that great, it's not cool, but you know, it's okay. It's okay, at least uh, they got rescue teams out there that are looking for her. And unaware of the search efforts, Melissa Carroll here on a family outing before sending her son off to college. We came out today just because he's going back to Virginia on Friday, so we wanted to make sure we had a chance to show him two lovers and a couple of the, the big known beaches. Though she adds they're not going to chance the poor weather conditions. Well, we're not getting in the water, so ankle deep, that's it, so... Yeah, we didn't realize there were going to be waves or anything like that out here. And the sky was super black. That's We almost didn't even get out because of that. But we figured we drove over here, so we might as well walk out. But that is scary. But, yeah, I had no idea. Like these beachgoers just looking to enjoy a relaxing day, authorities say the missing swimmer was snorkeling before he went missing. Rescue crews will continue their search in hopes to find him soon. It varies based on... Um, the quality of the swimmer, uh, the conditions, and, and we feed it through a program at the United States Coast Guard Command Center uh, and look for a probability of survival. But again, as we move further and further into the week, um, we start looking more of a recovery than a rescue. Mitsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.